Welcome to the White House and congratulations to the world champion, Dallas Mavericks. Uh, obviously, we got some Texas people here. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was the Mavericks' first title, uh, so I want to start by recognizing uh, everybody who stuck uh, with the team through good times and through bad, uh, from Don Carter, the original owner, uh, to the arena staff, uh, to all uh, the fans back home. Uh, we've got some members of Congress uh, who've waited a long time for this, uh, as, well as, as well as my trade representative, Ron Kirk, who happens to be a former mayor of Dallas. Of course, none of this uh, would be possible if it hadn't been for uh, the shy and retiring owner <laughs> of the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban. So, uh, not only did Mark help put together an outstanding group of players uh, and coaches, he was also responsible for making this event happen today. Uh, and so, uh, we are thrilled to have you guys here. Uh, it turns out that because of the lockout, Dallas wasn't scheduled to play in Washington this season. Uh, that did not sit well with Mark. Uh, he knew this team had worked hard. He wanted them to get all the perks of a world championship, including uh, a visit to the White House. Uh, it is tough to say no to Mark Cuban. Uh, and so they made a separate trip, and here we are. Uh, and I'm glad it worked out, because this is a special group. Uh, last season, they called themselves the Bad News Bears uh, because from the very beginning, uh, nobody gave them much of a chance. Uh, people said uh, that Jason Kidd uh, was too old, and I, I will say that uh, this is the first time I've been with some world champions who are my contemporaries. <laughs> Uh, they said J.J. Barea was too small, that uh, Dirk Nowinski was too slow. They did say that, Dirk. I'm sorry. That's what they said. They said you had a great jump shot, but... Uh, they said Deshaun Stevenson was too crazy. Uh, they said uh, the Jet, uh, you know, uh, was, was terrific, but uh, they weren't sure whether that tattoo was such a good idea. Um, but these players got it done because uh, they know how good teams win, uh, not just by jumping higher or running faster, uh, but by finding the open man, uh, working together, uh, staying mentally tough, being supportive of each other, playing smarter. Uh, and that's how the Mavericks took down uh, some of the league's best teams, uh, including the Miami Heat, uh, who got a little bit of attention last year. Uh, this was especially sweet for Dirk uh, and Jason, who were around uh, the first time that the Mavericks and the Heat met in the finals uh, and, and lost five years ago. In fact, the Mavericks played, uh, before the Mavericks played a single game last season, um, when Jason got his tattoo, he said, when you do something as crazy as I did, you've got to back it up. Uh, and he did, by the way, score 27 points to help uh, win the deciding game six. So, uh, Dirk joined the Maverick 13 years ago uh, as a skinny kid from uh, Germany uh, with what he describes as a goofy haircut. Um, last year, he became the second European player ever to be, uh, be named Finals MVP. Uh, and it wasn't easy. He bent a finger so badly in game two that he had to shoot left-handed. In game four, he played through a 101-degree fever. Uh, but every time, uh, he came through uh, when it counted. And I think it's fair to say that uh, we have very rarely seen uh, a better playoff run than Dirk Nowinski had last year. It was uh, remarkable. So, so, so clearly Dirk is a tough guy, uh, although the most painful thing uh, may have been his uh, rendition of We Are the Champions. <laughs> during the uh, victory celebration. That was, uh, did you, you said you worked on that? Seriously? Okay. 
Um, now, uh, none of these players would have gotten uh, so far without the rest of the folks on this stage. Uh, obviously, Jason Kidd now has the second most assists and third most steal, uh, steals in NBA history. Um, it wouldn't have worked without an outstanding coach. Uh, and Coach Rick Carlisle uh, has now uh, won a player as uh, or won a title as a player uh, with Larry Bird in the 80s, uh, has a title as a coach, and then he just informed me uh, that he had also won, uh, what was it, the Pantoons? <laughs> what were they called? The Patroons, pa the Albany Patroons. The Albany Patroons. Many of you did not know that <laughs> Rick Carlisle had also won uh, one of those. <laughs> It's a minor league team. Um, so these players uh, and coaches will always share a bond uh, that comes with being the best. Uh, and it's a bond they share with the Dallas community, where they do everything from setting up scholarships to helping military families get back on their feet. Uh, today, in fact, they met with some wounded warriors here at the White House. Uh, I want to really thank them for taking the time to do that. That means so much to people. Um, So uh, th this team really does have a, a heart that's the size of Texas. Uh, this was a, a remarkable run, a great victory, a great vindication for all the effort Mark Cuban put into building this team uh, and for uh, longtime players like uh, Dirk Nowinski and long-suffering fans like all of you. Um, <laughs> and, and so I, I just want to uh, give a heartfelt congratulations to all of you. Uh, I told them that uh, you know, it's too bad that next year it'll be uh, the Chicago Bulls here. Um, <laughs> but uh, they, they, they said I shouldn't be so confident. So <laughs> congratulations, everybody. Give it up for the Dallas Mavericks. And, uh, Dirk, you got something for me? Come on. All right. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. You heard your big. Thank you. So, well, you, you know, I, I was actually, uh, I was 23 before Jordan. Oh, you were? I was. <laughs> so he, I, he got uh, the number from me. I he stole it. <laughs> he stole it. Yeah. That's, what, <laughs> that's what happened. That's, that's beautiful. So I think we're going to take a picture. Are you guys going to uh, break this down? Congratulations.